Hello there SpyBot users and welcome back to the Safer Networking YouTube channel. My name is Rob from Team SpyBot and I'm here today to bring you another video in our web series of tutorials and instructional videos for SpyBot plus antivirus. Today's video will be updating SpyBot plus antivirus. So let's get started with today's tutorial. So welcome to today's video on updating SpyBot plus antivirus. In today's video I will show you how to use the SpyBot updater to download the anti-spyware and antivirus database signatures. The anti-spyware and antivirus signatures are acquired by the system scan to search and detect for malware and viruses on your system. I am set up on a Windows 10 64 bit virtual machine running in VirtualBox. So the first step in today's video is to open the SpyBot Start Center. To do this, right click on the Start Center desktop icon then choose Run as Administrator to open SpyBot with administrator privileges. Select Yes when prompted by the user account control, then wait for the Start Center to load. Once the Start Center is loaded, we can see in the top left hand corner that it says No Update Attempt Registered. This means that an update has not yet taken place and the database signatures have not been installed, so a system scan cannot yet take place. The system scan requires the latest definition updates before a scan can take place to ensure that it has the most up to date detection rules. Therefore we must update SpyBot before going ahead with the system scan. You should see the update icon in the advanced tools section of the SpyBot start center. If you do not see the advanced and extra tools, please click on advanced user mode in the bottom left hand corner. Then double click on the update icon to launch the SpyBot updater. The SpyBot updater should open up in a separate window. I'm going to maximize the update window to give us a better view. We should then see, last update, your computer has no signatures installed yet, status check complete, there are updates available. So we can then click the update button to begin downloading the anti-spyware and antivirus database signatures and detection rules. Once the update begins, we should see checking for anti-spyware updates and checking for antivirus updates. The anti-spyware updates contain database signatures for adware, spyware, trojans, possibly unwanted programs, and many other forms of malware. It is possible that during the updates the anti-spyware section may freeze on a particular file. If this happens please close the update window then reopen it again. When you reopen the update window the updater will perform a quick status check. Once the status check is complete the update button should become active again. You can then click the update button again to restart the download. The updates should continue from the previous point and the file should download successfully and the update should progress as expected. As well as downloading the anti-spyware definition files, the SpyBot updater is used to download any other essential files that are required by the SpyBot installation. These include updates to certain files, or can include bug fixes and other important files. The anti-spyware updates are provided by Safer Networking and the detection rules are created by our own in-house detectives who are constantly monitoring the web for any new threats or variations of existing threats that may come into existence as there are thousands of new, th of new threats released every day. The antivirus updates are provided by Bitdefender who are one of our OEM partners as SpyBot uses the Bitdefender engine for virus detection. If the update happens to freeze again on a particular file, please repeat this same process by closing the updater, then reopening it again. Then re click on the update button once the status check is complete.
you should then see that the anti-spyware updates have completed and 58 updates have been installed. However, this number may vary based on how many updates are available at the time of updating or if this is not the first time updating SpyBot. The antivirus definitions may take a few more minutes to complete. Once the AV updates have finished downloading, you should see antivirus updates complete. 790 antivirus signatures installed. Again, this number may vary depending on if you have previously updated SpyBot before. The updater should perform a quick status check to ensure that all files have been downloaded and installed successfully. You should then see your signatures have been updated today at 11.51. Status check complete. We can then click the update button again to see if there are any more required files. The updater should display that the anti-spyware and AV updates are up to date. The update button should become deactivated once all the updates have been downloaded and installed. However, due to a small bug, the update button does not become deactivated once the update has completed successfully. So it may seem that you are able to continuously update SpyBot, but once the updater has reported that the anti-spyware and AV updates have been installed, you do not need to update SpyBot anymore until the release of the latest round of SpyBot updates. If you want to view more details about the update files that have been downloaded, you can click on show details in the bottom right corner of the update window. Here you can view a list of all the files that have been downloaded and installed. The updates are broken up into four sections which are Essentials which contain updated SpyBot files and bug fixes, Detections which contains the anti-spyware detection rules needed by the system scan to search for and detect malware, Support which includes translation files, and other which contains the SpyBot help file. The antivirus files that were downloaded using the SpyBot updater are not shown here. You can then click back to overview to return to the update window. If you want to view even more details about the update procedure, especially for debugging and troubleshooting purposes, you can view the update log by clicking on show update log in the top left hand menu. This will open the updates.log file which contains detailed information about the update process, showing what files are required, and when the file was downloaded, extracted and installed. However, the AV updates are also, are also not present here. We can then close the update.log file and return to the update window. In licensed editions of SpyBot Plus Antivirus, the updates can be performed automatically through a scheduled task. If the updates are not configured to run automatically, you can click on Configure Schedule in the top left hand menu to open SpyBot settings. In the Schedule tab of SpyBot settings, you can see if the task has been added. If the task was not added during the setup of SpyBot, you can click the Add button next to the Update task. This will create the task and add it to the Windows Task Scheduler. By default, this task is set to run 5 minutes after every logon to your system. 
If you want to change when the task is run, you can click on Edit to open the task scheduler. Once the task scheduler is open, you will need to navigate to the SpyBot tasks. To do this, click on the task scheduler library in the top left menu. Next, click on Safer Networking, then SpyBot Search and Destroy. You should then see the Check for Updates task. To edit the task, right click on it, then click on Properties. Go to the Triggers tab, then press Edit. Here you can change how and when the task launches. We can now close the task scheduler and SpyBot settings, then return to the update window. Now that all the updates have been downloaded and installed, we can close the update window and return to the start center. In the status area, we now see that it says this software is being updated. This is a display error which is related to the bug that was previously mentioned about the update button not becoming deactivated once the update is complete. You can then minimize the start center and delete the post win 10 install.exe file from your desktop. If you are a Windows 10 user and you have not upgraded to SpyBot 2.5, please run the file to install SpyBot 2.5. You can also have a look at one of our previous videos showing you how to upgrade to SpyBot 2.5 for Windows 10 users. You can then return to the start center and we are now ready to perform a system scan. However, we will look at running a system scan in a later video. In the next video in the SpyBot Plus Antivirus web series, I will show you how to perform a scan using SpyBot Plus Antivirus. So that's it for today's video on updating SpyBot Plus Antivirus. Thank you for watching and we hope that you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, don't forget to like, share and subscribe or you can leave a comment in the comment section below. Or you can get in touch by sending an email to teamspybot at spybot.info or by using the request support page in the support center on our website. I've been Rob from Team SpyBot at Safer Networking. Thanks again for watching. Stay safe, keep on searching, keep on destroying. See you guys soon.